There's a saying in Zen, enlightenment is an accident, but practice makes us accident prone. In this film, we will examine the mechanisms by which one becomes accident prone. Samadhi is freedom from identification with the limited self, freedom from our conditioning, freedom from suffering. Sadhana, or spiritual practice that leads to samadhi, has two fundamental aspects. The first aspect is purifying the self-structure through practices which shift the energy out of conditioned patterns and pathological thinking. When the energy is free, it facilitates greater interconnection, love, and expansion into higher levels of self or soul. What you think of as other becomes integrated into you. The self-structure becomes like a node in increasingly higher levels of mind. paradox is that any practices we use to become free of the unconscious conditioning are themselves conditioned. At a point, all techniques, all concepts, and all doing, all attempts to realize samadhi have to be let go of. A meditator cannot awaken. A self-structure cannot awaken. It can only give up egoic control, reactions and preferences, which lays the groundwork and inner rewiring for staying awake on the gross, subtle and causal levels. The second aspect of practice could be called formless self-inquiry, which is about becoming aware of awareness itself waking up to the realization that all levels of self or soul are ultimately empty. Like the wings of a bird, these two aspects of sadhana, mindfulness and mind emptiness, carry one towards samadhi, the collapse of all duality. The path is you, and every obstacle on the path is you. The path to samadhi is not the sort of path where you put one foot in front of another to get to some destination. The path is a stripping away of illusion, a waking up to exactly where and what one is. I'm done. 